What? World Ender? Oh, that's for Yuhiko, yeah. Makoto? Um... Oh, it is. It's not the future foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies. All right, here we are on the sixth and final trial. Well, no, is this even a trial? No, right? No, uh, Monokuma said this was a graduation ceremony, so I don't even know how this is gonna go. But I mean, by the looks of things, since I have um, the troop bullets and all, this. I mean, I, I feel like this is a trial, but. I feel like it's going to be sort of different. I mean, because no one, no one, no one's the black in this time, so... I guess, um, in a way, Monokuma is just stalling for time to kind of explain the secrets of this island. Yeah, I think that's what he said after all. So, this is gonna be interesting. Um, so, I'm assuming in this case, the entire mystery, all the questions, hopefully, are going to be answered. So, and if, if it's as good as I hope it is, this is going to be mind-boggling. This is going to blow my mind. <laughs> and that's an understatement, I think. So hopefully, I can absorb all the information, because, well, my brain is quite tiny. And, well, yeah, I set the logic to mean, because, well, this is going to be my final case. And, yeah. Oh, boy, here we go. Let's do this. All right, Mofo. I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? Um, Neo World Program or whatever, right? Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? <laughs> Are we going to enter the argument already? Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> this world's true identity. If I answer this, it will be true. And that lie will become the truth. But there's no way I can leave it on the answer. Oh, we're gonna... The hangman's gambit? Wow. <laughs> this fast? Oh, crap. Oh, I thought it was gonna be Neo World. Oh, sh shoot. Um, oh, virtual. Oh, I got you. Yep, there we go. L. I got it! Virtual world, right, okay. This world, this Jabberwock Island we're on. It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. And now the question is how? Hey, so this isn't the real world, but if you want, you can call it the game world. You get it? It's all just one big game. Yeah, well, the question is though, are we all are we all alive then? <laughs> Surely, right? Uh, are you friggin' serious? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard! Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? <laughs> it is actually. That's stupid. There's no way that's even possible. I know, I know. The all in your minds trope makes you feel such cruel despair. But who cares? I revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. Cause it's a game. Then we were forced to kill each other. For our entertainment. Cause it's a game. Cause it's a shut the hell up. A lot of crazy God. shit happened. Cause it's a game. Oh my gosh. We're the only people here. Cause it's a game. Cause it's a game. Oh my goodness. Monokuma's nonsensical abilities. Shut the hell up! Cause it's a game! Don't fuck with me! <laughs> That's not even possible! I know you guys are pissed, but you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. A world where anything goes... Oh, okay. So, just force yourself to accept it. Ha! Huh. Well... Yeah, we kind of have to, <laughs> in this case. This closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. Just, just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. Well, after all the shit that we went through, I would believe anything at this point. Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll 
stop feeling strange once you just get used to it. Huh. That actually makes sense. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this really is a virtual world, what does that make us? Um, virtual characters, right? You better not say we're fictional characters. <laughs> um, um, no, not at all. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. Huh. I'm just kind of confused how Monokuma... Like, Monokuma... Oh, no, no, no. That's right. Um, the Despair people took over, right, with the virus, right. I was gonna say, how does Monokuma know all this, but... Yeah, alright. Ooh. It's programmed to play oh my the gosh. user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. Right, that's exactly how I imagined it, actually. Wow. Which Whoa. means... Your body still exists in the real world. Yes! Wait, so that means everyone's alive! Ever Whoa! Wait! What? I mean, that's slightly anticlimactic, because... Wait, all the crap that we've witnessed, all the emotions were just... Were, uh, the, I, I, what? So, Pekko and Terra Terra, everyone's alive. Wait... Oh, then Chiaki's alive too, right? I I don't even wait. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world, as if you're dreaming or something. Wait, I wonder what happens if you die in the virtual world. Do you wake up in the real world, or are you just in a coma? Huh? Simply put, you're um, you know, not aviators, but you mean avatar, right? An existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. But we're not just regular avatars, right? Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. A s removing something from our bodies? Um... I... okay. What did you remove? Our brains! Oh, I actually have to know? Oh, oh, that. I thought he meant, like, a physical thing. Okay. Um... Well, it's this one. I see. Yeah. I don't know, they all sounded likely. Or possible. What was removed from us was our school memories, right? We're avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the Academy? So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Like this is a game world. Wait a minute. Wait, so that means, um... It's possible that... Each and every one of us... Has an appearance... Has a, has a different appearance on the, on the real world then, right? Wait... Right, cause we're... Cause we're all avatars. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is- oh god, this is so weird. So- wow. So Akane could be like, I don't know, 4 foot 11. Um, and maybe she doesn't have, you know, her athletic abilities. Maybe Fuyuhiko's actually like, 5 foot 10, for all I know. Or 6 foot 11, I don't know. How'd we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it! What the heck were you doing on the- on the happy- um... Uh, on the, uh, on the building. <laughs> it was all sci-fi crap in there. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi, it's a game! It could be both. This world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed if we don't accept it. Is believing him really the only thing we can do? Well, I mean, he's not lying. So, if you want to move forward, don't, don't we have to? Um, oh my god, look how empty it is! Jeez! <laughs> oh, we actually have to do this. Oh my god, that's a lot of crap. Uh... Killing school alive? Sure, I don't know. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence! Huh. 
What does that mean? Exactly. Your avatars made of memories from before you entered. The avatars world. made of memories from before. But your okay. actual bodies in the real world are different. Wow. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life. Wait, wait, wait. What? Your real bodies actually? Oh no, that's true. Wait, that's true. Ah, shoot. What avatar? Yeah, she's confused as hell. A human being with a real body. Uh, should I believe that? Oh my god, I can't even tell if that's if I'm supposed to uh agree with that. I'm a human being living in the real world. Oh man, we're avatars. That I don't want to believe something like that, but yeah, I'm gonna have to um, agree with Monokuma here, don't I? Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. Um, I should have done this before, actually, but I'm gonna have to actually read some of these. Holy smokes, dude! All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so looking at this one, yeah, it makes sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, because uh, Monokuma said that uh, the bodies in the real world are, are different from this, um, from the world that we're living in right now. Yeah, that explains Hiyoko's um, <laughs> Hiyoko's appearance. Oh my gosh, dude. So each and every single one of us could have different looks. That's crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. Yo, anyways. Oh my goodness. Alright, so it's gotta be a list of subjects. Yep, that's what we're at. Alright. What does that mean? Your avatars, but your and, um, in the real world I feel like it's this one. No, no not that one. Your your Shoot. I agree with that. That must be it. Imagine agreeing with Monokuma during a trial. Well, actually, that's not that impossible. Earlier, in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. Mm-hmm. So that's this what she actually looked Hyoko. like. Wow. She looked more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Wait, is she a high schooler or an adult then? <laughs> I don't even... Look like an adult? What does that mean? Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, so we're supposed to look... What, oh, okay, so this is the bodies. These are the bodies that... What we looked like before the... Okay. But then... The the Hyoko's photo, then, was that... What, 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 when was that? Was that, like, after graduation? But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Oh, so we're all grown-ups. Yo, wait, oh my. Yo, then Fuyuhiko must look like a G. <laughs> and Akane must be, like, <laughs> I don't know, even more fierce. Damn. Which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. Wait. Wait, does that have anything to do with Izuru? I don't know, I feel like... I don't know, this, is this somehow connected with the grandpa? I don't know, ah, uh, alright, I need to go further first. And you are saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears Hyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated for you, Hiko. <laughs> I can't believe that. You're just making shit up. Yeah, I'd be a bit jealous too, honestly. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Wait, what? You guys should have felt your bodies go through... Why didn't you guys recognize each other? Huh? What do you mean? We're in a virtual world, how can we feel our real bodies? Or am I misunderstanding this? Your body so Okay, well. Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. No. Hold on. If we didn't know each other before, and we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other, then wouldn't he have noticed the difference? Wait, what? If we did not know each other before, okay. And we wouldn't have known if we aged or not. Okay. Wouldn't he have noticed the difference? Well, if it's a he, then it's either Kazuichi or Fuyuhiko, but... Wait, what? 
Oh my god, I feel so dumb. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Well, since we're talking about, um... Height difference or whatever, I guess for you, Hiko? Because he's sensitive about it, or...? You're the only one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, Fuyuhiko, you knew Peko for a long time, right? Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah, now that you mention it, seems weird. No, now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Strange? What is? Is it because Peko looked older? Or Our school memories? About how many days worth were taken away? Years, probably. As the creators of the Neo World program, only the future foundation would know the details, but around two or three years worth, I assume. Damn! That's even more than the Trick or Happy Havoc kids. Right? That long? Pekko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. And yet... If we lost two years worth of memories. We would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. Right, okay. So does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? I don't think so, no, right? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You've lost your memories, end of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. This is a virtual world. We're virtual avatars. Are you saying we just have to accept that? I can feel my heartbeat, and I know what I smell like. Right, but what, what, what's real and what's fake, right? So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Well, just because it's a game doesn't mean everything is the truth either. <laughs> Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? Um... Isn't that just hallucinating? So if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than if it actually happened? Now that you mention it, I did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. Right, Sonia mentioned the, um, the placebo effect, right? In a distant country, there was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. Of course. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. But they made him think that... His whole foot was being cut or something. Yeah, I've heard of stories like that. That prisoner was left alone in the I experiment think. room as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. Oh, okay. So that's a bit less extreme than what I was expecting, but... He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. However, in spite of that, the, the prisoner... prisoner still died. What? Is that really... Well, I guess that's the mental thing, but I wonder if that's really... Huh. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. I wonder what Kazuichi looks like in the real world, though. Hmm. If a lie is a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth? Uh... <laughs> nah, dude. No, thank you. We're really just connected to machines and stuff and our consciousness was uploaded into here so we genuinely believe that this game world was real and thus it became real then okay the jabberwock island we've been living on of course that's also a virtual world damn i mean that's no surprise but still it's crazy wow that sea that beach the buildings everything it's all a virtual world created by the Neo World program. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. Man, I... Man, this really is like some... some of the, Oh my god. What? Uh, okay. That's why in the end... I, I don't even... Where are we going with this? I... Whoa. It was all just a creation. That's the truth. Oh, whoa. Well, so now that we're aware that this world is fake, I guess... We're starting to see these things? Okay. The truth is, 
The truth is, the truth is, it was all a lie. The truth was that it was a lie, huh? That is this world's truth. If everything's a lie, then what should we believe? God, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, we should just shouldn't we just um, find a way to get out of here and go back to our real bodies? But then, of course, how? Who cares if it's a lie? Huh? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Right, so our real bodies and, you know, everything on the real world remains unaffected. Uh, then that must mean... Everybody is alive! Whoa! I mean... That's right. <sighs> the killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. Oh my god, dude, please tell me Monokuma's not gonna say any anything else. Oh yeah. Just because they oh, died no. in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. I, I I feel like Monokuma's gonna say, yeah, about that. So so you were saying everyone is still alive? Oh god, please. Please say yes. Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Please! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was too happy. If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Um. Okay. Don't tell me. You mean the Neo World program isn't just any game? Oh, fudge it's off! Oh my god. Hey. containing the ultimate reality. <sighs> what? Okay. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar oh, experiences death... Oh, no. They believe they die, so it becomes real. Oh, my God. No! God! Wait. <sighs> their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning, too! Ah, oh, fudge. Oh, no, no. <sighs> what? <sighs> what? Then... Everyone who died. It's not like their bodies are completely dead, so I can't say it's a true death, but. So they're in a coma. That's why it's actually. Or, I mean, well. Instead, all that's left of them are empty husks. Are you saying they will never awaken again? What the fuck? Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Well, Nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? I could not give a shit about what the audience thinks, honestly, if it's something like this. What game? That's not what we risked our lives for. Ah, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Boy, you're the one who came out of nowhere and started this game, retard. Like, what? Monomi was the one who was trying to like make this actually an enjoyable game. Future Foundation? What a lot! Nah, dude. The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game. Nah. Then, nah. Monomi and Shiaki were. They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us, and then we were taken out. What? Wait, 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 wait! What? I thought Future Foundation were the good guys. I thought, I thought the Future Foundation sent these two to to uh, fight back against Monokuma. But well, now that I think about it, though, Monomi and Shaki were here before Monokuma appeared. Oh, wait, what? So you're telling me that these two were betraying the Future Foundation? What? I'm so confused. Um. I mean, I know they mentioned it before that they betrayed the Future Foundation, but like, how? How did they betray them? They betray. Okay. See, so our real enemy is the Future Foundation. Really? No. What? I'm so lost. Like, Makoto is in there, though. What? The f no, isn't the Future Foundation is our real enemy. No, 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 that no, that can't be it. No. Is that it? Is that really it? Yeah, no. Alter Ego's in there. No, there's no way. No. 
Ooh. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, there's no way, dude. Oh my gosh. Surprisingly enough, I'm actually kind of understanding some of these. Huh. Um... I don't even... Okay. The Neo World program was developed by... Oh shit, oh, my the bad. Future Foundation, right? Um, yeah. The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? True. And the enemy is the Future Foundation! False. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. Um... A group that would make a killing game, okay. There's no way they're good guys! Hmm... Then the Future Foundation is... Truly an organization of evil! No, I disagree. Okay, so it's gotta be a Connie's then. Who's our enemy? Is it the Future Foundation? Or... Wait, no, it can't be the Future Foundation because they literally told us their plan, right? They told us about the... The Hope Cultivation Plan or the Neo World Program. I don't know which one to use, though. Um, let me just check, actually. So it's either gotta be... This one. Right. Either this one or this one. Program created by the Future Foundation, right. It can replace memories. It is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world. Right. It was a program for creating hope, but it became filled with death and violence after the virus. Yep. Yep, and that's not done by new, uh, the NW NWP, so... Okay. So, yeah, this one. The future foundation, the ones who track it's all the future. And the enemy is the. I mean, a group that. So do I. She go, yo. Tell him. Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program, a concept like violence never existed. Exactly. Thank you. Th then, why is there killing going on? Because some white, black, and white bear just have to pop out of nowhere and take over. For some dumb reason. The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C could it be that virus is? Right, the plague. The virus. The asshole. None other than. Yep. <laughs> You're right. Until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Exactly. And I thought that was an illusion, but damn. To think that was actually yeah. real. Didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. Man, I miss these days. I thought I thought this was like, I thought this was an illusion. But to think this was actually, uh, this could have been the reality. Man, that's oh, dude, that really sucks. Monami, what sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? What sort of role does? Okay. Hey, don't change the subject. Well, she was supposed to be the teacher, so. But that's also something we need to clear up. We do? Well, she was definitely the teacher. Teacher chaperone, Monokuma spare. Magical girl! Um, I want to say the teacher chaperone, but I remember, um... Somebody calling her a, an observer, so... Oh, I think it was Alter Ego. Right? I see. Yep, alright, cool. Right, because of she the... She was the observer of the Neo World program. Isn't that right? Right, the monitor. That's right! She was an NPC that was assigned the role of Observer! Okay, so that explains, um... Monomi's, quote, mastermind. She didn't have a mastermind. She was being controlled like a NPC. Okay. Oh, cool. Wow, the, the questions are getting answered. God, that feels good. NPC? What's that? Non-playable character. Non-player character. A character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. Did I just say non-playable character? Oh my gosh. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program. Just to monitor the 15 of you. <gasps> Please wait. Did you just say 15 people? Yep, because Chiaki, well, was not part of it. Wait, what? Did it doesn't Sonia know that? You've forgotten how to count. We're 16 people in total. Um, does she not? Did Chiaki not mention? Okay, well, whatever. He was probably excluding the other observer. Huh? Another observer? The Future Foundation's other observer has to be referring to Chiaki Nanami. Oh, God. I don't even care if she was an android. She was still the best. God. Aside from the 15 participants, 
There were two observers in the New World program. One of them was Monami, and the other one was... The best character. Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? Man, that's some high quality NPC, that's for sure. So you're saying she was just a program? And she didn't actually exist in real life? Yep, that explains why she was so perfect. Th then she wasn't human? She didn't exist at all? Well, she's always going to exist in my heart. <laughs> God, that sounded cringy, but you know. Not human? No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. Yes, she was. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Don't get all mushy towards a game character. Oh, shut the hell up. Shut up! Thank you, finally, God. Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. Okay, and what the hell are you? You're the instigator for all this garbage. World ender? No, that's wrong. Now that you mention it, you referred to the future foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the future foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending. No, there's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also World Ender. At least for those of us here. For everyone who's here? Wait, I need to read that one more time. Hold up. There's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also World Ender, at least for those of us here. Uh, okay. Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? It's just a bluff. She has no reason to, though. Monokuma, what exactly are you? Finally, we're getting to the the juicy stuff. All right. Why don't you just show us your true self already? Yay! Like he's gonna. Is he gonna? What? You can't talk. Oh, 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 oh. oh are we are we actually uh, tempting him? It, it is cowardly of you to, to just ignore. <laughs> Even Sonia's trying. Before I reveal my true Whoa. identity to you guys. It appears the main cast has finally arrived. Oh, <laughs> whoa, that took a 180 degree. Holy shit. Um, so you're going to reveal our reveal your true identity and tell us the main cast. Okay. Wow. Huh? Main cast. Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender, aka Future Foundation. Okay. Wait. What? World Ender? Oh, that's for Yuhiko, yeah. Makoto? Um... Oh! It is! It's not the Future Foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies... Yo! Wait, Monokuma knew he was coming? With you guys. Wait, I'm... what? Alright! I was waiting for you, Makoto! You finally arrived! Wait, I'm confused. Wait, is this the fake Makoto? Wait, uh, Makoto? Yeah, that sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? My name is Makoto Naegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. Oh my gosh, we're actually seeing each other face to face, but... I don't know, I... Uh, is this the real Makoto, though? That's my question. And right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. Okay. You are from the Future Foundation? And Fuyuhiko's gonna go nuts and be like, Hey, asshole! Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us! Well, the Makoto that Hajime talked to said that, but I feel like this guy's gonna say something opposite. Hey, what happened? What is this? Isn't he acting a bit strange? Yeah, to say the least. This guy's attitude as it's as if he's being cautious of us. Huh. He's like he's trying to tell us something, but of course, with Monokuma present. Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. The situation we're in? Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Why did Future Foundation put us 
to save us from the tragedy, right? Who cares? No, Hurry like... Up and get us out of here. Oh my god, stop being... No, you can't be ignorant about this, Kazuichi, dude. Like... Uh, the tragedy, dude. The Neo World Program has another name. The Hope Restoration Program. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds awfully, um... Hopeful. Hope Restoration Program. By now, you should understand your true identity. Uh, well, Hajime still doesn't know his ultimate. <laughs> that sucks. Huh? Our true identities? Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together and try thinking about it. Um, before we came here? Is that what he said? Before we arrived here. Here as in the Jabberwock Island or this this place, this trial? Well, he probably means the, the island, but... Put it together and think? Um... Oh, logic dive, okay. Well, I guess... Um, okay, well, I don't know what... I can't predict what the question's gonna be for this one, but... Ah! Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. So far. Alright. What we got? Who were the 15 survivors of Hajime and the others? Ah! Uh, oh, god, I made it. Holy shrimp. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. Oh crap, alright, there we go. Oh no, not these- Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. Alright, checkpoint, okay. Oh god, not this. I swear it's gonna pop up in the middle. Oh, okay, no, never mind. Alright, there we go. What we got? Who are the remnants of despair? Uh... Oh, uh, what? Oh shit. <laughs> remnants of despair? Monokuma? But that's a singular. Wait, what? Oh my... Wait, I don't... I'm so confused. Who are the remnants of despair? Wait, what? How am I supposed to... Uh... Oh god, I... I feel like this is wrong, though. Remnants of... What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, what? We're the Remnants of Despair? Wait. Oh my god, I need a... Uh, wait, I need a timeout. Hold on. Wait, aren't the Remnants of Despair, like... Part of the tragedy, though? I... Don't... Uh, uh. Wait, are you telling me we're the bad guys? Why were Hajime and the others put into the new world to... To recover? Yeah, obviously. Oh, wait, maybe we were like victims of the tragedy, but we were once good guys or something. Oh, shoot. Um. Oh, wait. Could that be it? I... Oh, God. All right. It's all coming together. Kind of. Could it be? The survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of Ultimate Despair are... Yes, both of those phrases refer to you guys. What the hell? Hold on, I need to see that true bullet real quick. Remnants of Despair, right? That was one of them. Yep, there it is. An influential group known as the Rem... St what? So we are part of the bad guys. What the hell? I... Okay, uh... Ugh. Wait, uh, uh... That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy... Wait, that would actually explain... Why... Chiaki and Monomi came here then. I... Oh! I remember! Uh, I forgot which one it was. But... One of the, um... I, I, I forgot which one it was, but one of the, um... Emails that we read said... Was talking to Chiaki and Manomi, 
telling her that you guys are betraying us, betraying the future foundation, and that what you're doing is suicide. That explains it because she was going straight in it, like... She was coming- uh oh. Because she was trying to stop us, the remnants of despair. She, uh, like, alone, with just the two of these guys. Oh. Whoa, okay. You're also survivors of ultimate despair. We're all ultimate despair. Oh my. Whoa, that's actually wild. Don't be stupid. Yo, uh, even Sonia? Yo, can you imagine Sonia being part of the ultimate despair? That would actually explain how she could how you could rule the world. Cuz Sonia has the power to rule a country, right? Probably. And if she was the ultimate despair, right? Because she has the power to control an army and all that. Yo, that. Oh my gosh. In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? What? That was us? That's why you sent us here, into the killing game. Okay, wow, that makes so much sense. What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that they're dangerous guys who are responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, and wars. Whoa. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Literally hell. Despair and Bruh. human form. But utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. What? You're telling me we... We're part of this. That, I, oh my god. What? Even like terror... Nagito would make sense. Nagito makes perfect sense. But guys like terror Teru? Kazuichi? What? Oh my god, dude. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. Bruh. They live solely to torment everything. To burn everything. To kill everything. <laughs> okay, wow. Um... You're part of a dangerous group like that? Yo, Fuyuhi goes to ultimate Yakuza, so if he was part of the despair, that would also... Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, and there are people like us all over the world? Th that's gotta be a lie! That's right. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Yo, this is getting so interesting. I... Uh, uh, oh, God. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Oh. Oh, that's why he hated all of us. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting, like, brain orgasm, dude. I, oh. The satisfaction of getting all these mysteries solved one at a time is so satisfying. Oh, <laughs> Yo, okay. Wow. Nagito, why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? Oh, wow. So he really is like the ultimate hope then, Technic. Oh my gosh. But... He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys. It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room. That's an awfully, awfully valuable prize though. Was it that file Damn. that contained all our student profiles? But inside... Well, Nagito said he um ripped out some parts, right? If I remember correctly. Man, Chiaki. Ugh. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Right. Details about our missing memories, information about the time we spent at HPA. Hmm, if it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. Right, okay. No, it used to have profiles from after you entered the school, but Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Yep, exactly. Huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Bruh, he literally said he was watching us. Well, he was forced to watch us. Yeah. Anyway, 
It's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Kill us all. Oh my goodness. That makes so much sense. Oh, that explains why Nagito did what he did. Oh. Oh, that also explains... Wait. No, no, I was gonna say, um... I wonder if Nagito had connections with Chiaki, but... Hmm... No, I can't figure it out. Anyways... Nagito learned the truth? What did he try to do to... Oh, gee, I don't know! Um, create an unsolvable mystery... Brain fuckery and... <laughs> get us all killed. Are you telling us to answer that? No! I, no, we, he just wants us to grovel and beg. I don't know. Um, well, it has to do with something with killing, that's for sure, probably. Try to get us- Oh, um... Holy tits! What? Oh, oh, it is kill us all. Oh! Oh, nice! I got it exactly, um... Oh, oh my god, bruh, what? Alright, alright, alright. This is not cool, alright. I need an eye. Oh my goodness. Give me an eye! I do need an L. There we go. Another one. Uh, I need a U. There we go. And then, eh, uh, crap. Alright, well. Uh, S. And then an A. I'm just gonna tank all this. All this damage. Um. Where's A? Alright, there we go. And then an L. And then- ah, oh, crap. And then another L. I got it! I got it! Man, it feels so weird seeing Makoto here. It'd be so interesting if Kyoko was here too. He tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, 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 okay. That- oh, 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 that makes so much sense. Oh my gosh. That makes so much sense. He didn't know Chiaki was the traitor, but he knew that the traitor was part of the Future Foundation, who were not part of the Despair. Oh. Yo, this is so satisfying. Oh, all the information I'm learning right now. Wow, okay. That's right. Wow. After seeing the file, you learn that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. Oh, including him. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Dude, no wonder the ultimate despair was able to spread chaos throughout the entire freaking world. We have all these ridiculous superhumans. That, no wonder. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us? Because we were ultimate despair? Sonia is part of- Oh my god. Yes, because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that. But is that- is that like the real Nagito? Does the real Nagito love hope and hate despair? Because if so, then why is he part of the ultimate despair? Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? Well, I mean, <laughs> if what Makoto's saying is true, which probably it is, then, I mean, why wouldn't you? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Well, I want to believe you, but if your memories have been altered, and this is the virtual world, I don't know, man. I don't need a twist like that. Yeah, this is a huge twist. Holy mech might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. Before, right, and the tragedy happened after we entered. Wow, dude. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. What? <sighs> so the world was a peaceful place until HPA existed. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> lesson of the lesson of the story. Um I don't know. <laughs> don't go to the best School in Japan, I guess. I don't know. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope Speak Academy, you were in contact with her. Junko?
Wait, what? Her? The true ultimate despair. What the? Junko and Oshima. Wait. So you're telling me Junko had contact with these guys before or during Trigger Happy Havoc? What? Damn, she was busy. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became Wait. the ultimate despair. During your time at the school? Wait, but the 15 of us were there after Trigger Happy Havoc, were we not? So then how did Junko... Uh... Ugh, okay. To remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Makes sense. Is that why you took away our school memories? M yep, that makes sense too. The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. So somehow Junko managed to influence... Even the most innocent people like Sonia. Wow. That's wow. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Oh my goodness. Are we going to see our real bodies? Yo, I uh family, friends, and our own bodies. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? He's probably not. He's right. There's no way we do something like that. Don't turn away from the truth. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, he's gaining back his memory. That. Wait, what? Wait, but that means. Wait, that means on the boat it was Hajime. Oh, well, no, no duh. Wait, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Psh. Wait. Oh, that explains why the guy, the mystery guy, which who's you know Hajime, I think, was talking like that. Whoa! Yo! Oh my God! Ugh. What was that just now? A memory? But that person, that was Nagito, right? Right. My question now is though, did Nag? No, Nagito didn't have Junko's hand. During this whole game, right? Or did I just not see that this whole time? No, there's no way I could have missed that pedicure. Um, huh. Yo. So I'm, I'm assuming he lost his left hand during the tragedy or something, but. Oh my gosh. This is nuts. What? It appears you've remembered a little. Huh? Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. Wait, my question is though, why is Monokuma doing this? Why did Monokuma allow Makoto to come here? I'm not. Wait, I. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to um see from Monokuma's perspective. Why would I allow Makoto, who's trying to save them, to come here and you know do his thing? Huh. Well, I guess because they finished the game, so I guess Monokuma's like, eh, I have no use to, for them anymore, so... I guess I'll let, I'll let them, you know, go back to their real bodies and cause continue to cause chaos. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Shoot, <laughs> sorry, what, what are we arguing? Uh... Oh my god, there's so many, jeez. Oh wait, this is the mean mode, I forgot about that. <laughs> no wonder. Visions of Nagito, maybe? Eh, I don't know. There's obviously some kind of mistake. I agree with that. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Yo, that's crazy, dude. Holy macaroni. Because you're all ultimate despair. Uh huh. You killed your friends and family. Bruh. And you even destroyed your own bodies. Uh, I guess I can agree with that. How can you say we did all that? What do you mean destroyed our bodies though? We're being tricked by the future foundation. I wish that was true, to be honest. Doubt hope. It's to doubt yourselves. How much despair is within you guys? Um <laughs> quite a bit, I guess. We're ultimate despair? That's not possible. Um Okay. Wait, I'm so I'm kinda confused. Like we destroyed our bodies? Is that true? I 
I need to organize that information. If I organize it, I'll probably be able to. I feel like it's vision of Nagito though. Hold mistake. on. Uh, I want to say that's true. Wait, could it be this? Oh crap. Okay. So I'm right. There must be some kind of mistake. And say something more legit. So you can ask the Makoto guy about the truth. Um. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I guess visions of Makoto doesn't. There's I mean, Nagito doesn't really. Kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate just because you're all ultimate. You killed your friends and, and you even destroyed your own bodies. No. We literally. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait. We're no. We're consenting. Duh. Psh. Oh god damn it. That memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Nagito did. Oh was my. Oh, that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. No, for, um... <laughs> I was going to, um, disagree with Makoto because if we destroyed our bodies, then how did I see Nagito? But it makes sense now. Yeah, by consenting with him, <clears throat> we saw Nagito. Yeah, his left arm. Wow. Off his own arm and transplanted a woman's arm? What the... You're telling me he did that, like, just cause. Not because, I don't know, someone cut it off during the tragedy. He did that just just because. Just because it was Junko's. Even though it's, she's the ultimate despair, wh who she hates, who he hates. What? Not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. What is wrong with this? I, I don't even... What? What did you say? That's like... What? What? I, I don't even... Uh, imagine putting a dead girl's arm. What? I, uh. He probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it. He could make her survive with it? Oh my... That's like a psychopath's way of thinking. It's like, oh, if I can't be with you, I'll kill you. And I'll slice you up and put it inside me so we can be together. Like what? Oh god. I, I don't get this at all. Yep, I agree. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. They have no problem severing their own limbs. Oh god. I I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. Where's the bathroom? I cannot imagine Sonia being the ultimate despair. As a matter- no, I can't imagine any one of- uh, Gundam Ultimate Despair? Okay, I guess I can see somewhat. Kazuichi the Ultimate Despair? This guy? The Ultimate Despair? I- Oh my god- Mikan, I can definitely see the Ultimate Despair, yes. You're telling me Hiyoko was an Ultimate Despair? Oh my- My hero? What the hell is going on? Nah, dude. I... It's just a game anyway. So why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty what? sure a select few would demand that. Oh my gosh, dude. I... It's too soon to feel sick. It's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. How is the story gonna go? Like... This feels like um like like the um the climax of the of the game, not the ending. Like how how are we gonna continue off this? Oh some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting in order to reach the despair of starvation. Oh my gosh, just to feel despair, okay. Oh, I thought that was Others Mikan. Their wow. Own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Bruh. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. What the hell? <laughs> I thought that was Kazuichi for a sec. One person even implanted what? one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Oh. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair. I. What? Uh, okay. Oh, 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 uh. And not just that. Some even tried to have children. No. 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 Absolutely effing not. No. No. God. I wish I could just unread that. No. 
What, what, where, where's my holy water? Hold on. No. Where's my... God damn it. Ugh. No. Where's my water? God. Just stop! Yeah, um, dude. No, dude. No. No. That's just a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit! Wait, how did he even... Junko's, Junko's body shouldn't even be vis- like... Like, uh, It should be squashed! So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling. But there's no need to worry. If you just advance toward the hope I provide, you'll definitely be saved. Man, I... I don't know, just because Monokuma allowed Makoto to come in here... I can't help but feel like this is all a trap. But, like, what Makoto is telling us, I, I... Ah, has to be the truth, right? Oh, my god. Save? You'll save us? How? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. That's why the Neo World program was created, Well, I'm too. assuming he's going to erase our despairs. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Right. Hmm... So I'm guessing Chiaki and Monomi came in here to help us beat this game, or...? I... Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? Probably, right? Because we would probably... In the, the real bodies would have the memories of the memories that we have right now. So we would probably be acting the way we are acting right now with our real bodies in the real world. So yeah. So you're saying this was like a test? <laughs> we were actually guinea pigs, like uh what ha like Hajime said. Damn, dude. I guess I can say that the test was a success. Which is a good thing, but some of us are gonna get pissed. Even though it probably greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the hope fragments. The heck? Nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. Thanks to a certain somebody that I really miss. That's why all you need to do is choose graduate. Okay. But why is Monokuma just sitting there and watching? I. Uh, if we do that, we could get out of here. Nah, I, I, something's not right. Am, uh, However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. Which sounds like a freaking paradise. So why would we not do that? Huh? If you choose to graduate, and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Which sounds perfectly fine to me. Uh, uploaded? It means by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. Okay, guys, please, no, I, I, I don't, don't, don't pull one of those. But I don't know. Like uh, our current selves are not our real selves. You know, they, 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 no, like just no, no, I no. Just, just go, please. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So that is the Neo World Program. What happens to the people whose avatars die? Didn't Monokuma say they they die? If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. So you're saying they'll never wake up? Oh yeah, yeah. God damn it! Damn fucking shit! Man, what? Hem, please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. Um. Okay. Oh, whoa. If you choose graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Uh So, if you graduate Um, hold up. But if we repeat Keep memory of the Oh, okay. So in reality, we get to keep the memory of the game. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But if we decide to repeat... Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. 
just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. Yeah, with just the uh, five of us, um, forever. Which sounds like a paradise, yeah. Hey, why you gotta ask something like that? Well, well even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? I mean, we... Uh, right, because... He did say our bodies are destroyed, but... If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... Man, where's Chiaki when we need her? Oh my god. Well, what are you saying? Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! No. Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't yet, Kazuichi. But that's probably because Sonya's alive. But still, is it really oh, okay man. to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? You're asking that now? Honestly, though, like, ugh, do we have to kill others? No, we didn't. We never really had to. I don't think. Well, no, never mind. I'm never. Ah, whatever. If we don't get out of here now. Then what was everything we've done up till now even for? For the despair's entertainment. Yay! You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we can finally leave this place. Right, but now that we're at the end, we we hear the harsh truth. Man, that really sucks. Imagine like working super hard all your lives to reach the goal, the dream that you've been, you know, dreaming of, and when you finally got there. Yeah. Damn. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. And we don't want that, do we? I mean, yeah, we gotta just go forward and face the truth, dude. Like, uh, there's, there's no, just, there's no, there's no point. I know this, but <laughs> something's not right. Okay. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. God. All right. Finally. Is he just going to stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? Right, there has to be a tra trap, surely. Then everything Monokuma did would be pointless too. Not only that... Is it really okay for us to believe him? Yep, I still feel like um, Makoto is trying to tell us something. Well, now that I think about it, the uh, password, the 11037, hasn't been used yet, has it? Right, this hasn't been used yet. Well, this hasn't been used yet. Shutdown sequence hasn't been used yet. Yep. There's way too many stuff we haven't used yet. Yep. Yep. There's no way. Should we get out or... Um... Um... Yo, this reminds me of the Makoto one. Am I supposed to believe in Kyoko or not? <laughs> and I got it wrong. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's this one. I see. Yep. Alright. Wait. We have some time to decide? Just curious, though, what would have happened if I picked Get Out, though? Hmm. Ah, oh, crap, I should have saved. Oh, well. Did you get scared like Sonya? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No, it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? Strange? You still don't understand? Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. Right, sure. Um, no, I feel like this is not the real Makoto. I, uh, no, I, I don't know. No, I. Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know. Right, but then, like, look at Monokuma. He's just chilling. I knew it. So I thought there's something wrong with you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. Wait. No, the emails I, I read said something else. Oh, e oh wow. Okay, email to Makoto Nayagi. Yeah. I said I'm going to save you guys. Yeah, but something's off here. Why aren't you listening to me? Let's do what he says and get out of here. No. I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? Nope. I disagree. And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. Uh, well, I do agree with that, but it's fine to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. 
No one can defy the future foundation. No, that's wrong. Yep. No, that's wrong. No, that's th yeah. Makoto literally defied. Yep, I remember. I remember. Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the future foundation? Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? I saw it. The email that the future foundation sent to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? This is an act of treason. Right, okay, okay. Oh, right, right. I, at first I thought this was, um... This was, um... This was to, uh, Chiaki, but no. I, I was wrong. I, I just realized, yeah. What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Yep. Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? That makes so much sense. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, time is flying so fast in this one. Holy crap. It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Yep, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought this uh, email was for Chiaki. No, I just realized it was Makoto. Yeah, it makes sense. Stay calm and think about this. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's being important to the light of the world. The six of you joined the FF because you agreed with our ideals. The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy to help you recover your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything's for the sake of hope-filled future. Oh, wow. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair, which clearly contradicts what this person is saying. Yep, this person is a virus. Huh? Is that email for real? Future Foundation tried to kill us? Hold on! We'll deal with that later. Hey, Monokuma. Those clues we found were all real, right? G gasp Huh? Wait, what? They were, right? And that's not the only contradiction. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've been already told. Been told. Right, that was the real one. I cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program, right. I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys, but this was the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you, right? Those words seem much more real. Yo... The person in front. What? Wait, is this the mastermind? Yo, oh my gosh, dude. These- the, the ultimate despair is like... Super scary, like... I can- I, I, this is just one example of how an individual can totally change a br or brainwash a person. I can totally see it. Holy crap. Tell me, Makoto Naegi. Who are you? Makoto Naegi. Who is he? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie. Okay, no. I'm not asking you. I'm asking you, insolent fool. If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof. Uh, how? Damn it! He's trying to interfere. Then, to prove whether that Makoto Nagi is real or not, I'm gonna shove Dad in his face. Huh? Oh, I know. Something that only the real Makoto Nagi would know. Right? He's the one that gave us this. Yep. Got it. <laughs> Man, I'm so into this game that, like, I, I... I'm actually doing this pretty well. Wow. I think. Oh. Ah, whatever. I can't hear you. Holy shrimp. That took forever. One... Ten... Three... Seven. This is the end. There you go. I bet you don't know the password, huh? Right, because Monokuma said he doesn't know it, yep. Makoto Naegi, if that's who you really are, then tell me this, why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? No! One zero three seven. You're not supposed to tell him! You idiot! <laughs> what? You're supposed to tell him what's the password, I, or, right? I, um, what was that again? Exa oh, well, psh. Well, I mean, I was expecting Makoto to be like, oh, um, you know, because, um, can't answer. But okay, I, I guess it works out. That's weird. Wait, you where'd you find that out? Bruh. Who cares? So how about it? Can you even answer? Oh man, 
I've been found out. Oh my god. Is this the mastermind? Holy shit. Found out? Then you're... <laughs> uh. How disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track! This is so weird. Yo, we're gonna... He disappeared? Oh. That's disappointing. Hey! That guy disappeared! And I'm about to as well. I'm sorry, guys. I... I, I want to keep playing. I really do. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. That was one of the most satisfying episodes I think I've ever played so far. Honestly. It felt so good. After being so confused this whole time for like the past five episodes. Everything is connecting together. Wow. It feels so good. Man, so basically, we are actually all despairs. That, that's crazy. So I... I wonder if we're actually going to see our real bodies. I, I don't even know if we want to, but... I would love to see what some of us look like, um, for real. But man... Oh god, alright. So I'm assuming, yeah, it makes sense. So Monokuma doesn't really know that the real Makoto is coming. And I'm hope I'm guessing that you know on the next episode that's going to be the case. He's the real Makoto is going to come and save us somehow, and we all escape into the real world with our school memories intact, which probably means that all of us are no longer going to be part of the despair, which is nice. But I do kind of wish we could see what they were like when they were part of the despair. Just, just cause I don't know, just to see what they were like. But man, this is crazy. I will- I- I- I don't know. I- I- we still don't know anything about the ultimate imposter though, so hopefully that gets- that gets an answered as, as well. Man, I'm stuttering a lot. Um... And man, I wish um, we could see Kyoko and the others as well, but... I think I'm asking for a little too much for that one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Always appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Peace out.